It's that camber there just a little. There we go. My goodness, I've not done one of these in a long time. Make sure I still know what I'm doing here. Nobody's watching. I just well, if this is even on. Let me see here. Oh, well, it's working. We got one person watching so far. I'm not done with these in a long time. You can tell I'm kind of a little rusty here. Let me see. There's seven people watching. About 10. There's Randall from Arkansas. Well, I guess it's working. I wasn't sure if this is going to work or not. I've not done a live video in several months. But we'd try one here tonight for a few minutes. There's Jay in Crossfall just down the road from us here. Usually we're on the front porch doing these, but it's a little cold outside, so we'll do it in the house here. Jay and Randall. Now, there's a few people watching here. I was over on another channel doing a uh, Q&A with a buddy of mine, Tony, and we got done a few minutes ago, and I thought, I'll pop over here and do a live on this channel as well. New York, Missouri, Louisiana, Indiana, all kinds of people. There's my buddy Josh. Josh Ferguson Life Outdoors. Is that the same Josh down in Georgia? I'm not used to seeing the Life Outdoors right there beside you. Canada, Wisconsin. Uh, let me see. I'm already getting behind here. Goodness, goodness. I forgot how busy this little live feed gets. It gets pretty busy really fast. Faster than I can keep up with. Uh, and here comes the questions and I'm not even ready for them. This is a very unprepared live tonight, guys. I was sitting here actually doing a live with a friend of mine and thought I'd come over here and talk to you guys for a minute. It looks like it's working. Here's Homestead, North Michigan. Louisiana, I need to give me a better camera. After feeds, I need like a camera that hooks to this laptop so I don't have to look up and down constantly. It's kind of annoying, probably annoying for you guys as well. Uh, Cedar Cypress, send it my way. Freight may be expensive though. <laughs> I never saw nothing like that. Uh, anything done today? Oh, there's Tim. Well, goodness, Tim Fuller's here, retired with wood. Tim had a bad day today, but I think it's going to get better for him. He had, he had kind of a rough time today with some equipment. I did get my metal haul today, Tim, so we made it home with the metal. So that's the one thing I did get done today. Uh, goodness, howdy from Minnesota. The weather up here is horrible. It's rainy, it's cold, and we've not seen the sun in a few days either. Really aggravating. Osage was beautiful. Yes, it was. Uh, from Bristol. Let me see here. Part is on order. Good deal. I can tell you what, these live videos, I get behind. This is probably, I've not done one in a while. I have a hard time keeping up with the comments here. I'm chasing them as fast as I'm answering questions here. Southwest Florida is beautiful. I bet it is this time of year. Tennessee is nasty. Nasty, nasty. Hickory slabs. <laughs> They're coming eventually. Probably later, though. I don't, I don't know when. Let me see. Uh, can I buy slabs from you? How? I sell them whenever I kiln dry them. I've not kiln dried nothing in a long time, so I don't have anything really for sale right now. Let me see here, central Texas, 28 degrees. That seems kind of cold for Texas. I may be wrong right there. The new board catcher is okay. We need to make some changes to it though. It's got some issues actually. I mean, it works okay, but I need to have my buddy come over and do some more grinding on it. 
All right, hello from Alberta. How cold is it there? Negative 27, shoot, it's, it's, it's probably 41 or something, but it's nasty because it's raining. It's raining for like two, three days, and it's raining right now. All the cats right here looking at me through the window. All right, I've got dibs on the first hickory slabs. I don't think I will slab hickory when I do get it on the sawmill. It's heavy enough. I'll probably just do one inch boards or something. There's New Zealand, that's awesome. Uh, did you get a, the Bart Spud has a handle. And uh, if you, you people knew the channel, Jason Knight, uh, the, the famous blacksmith, made me a Bart Spud a few months ago. Actually, it's longer than that. It's almost a year ago. It has a handle on it now, but I am too afraid to use it. The reason being, Jason Knight will probably never make another Bart, uh, Bart Spud ever. So it's kind of worth something to me, you know, because he made it for me. And I, I kind of don't want to put it to the wood. It's kind of silly, I guess, but man, it's so nice. He put like this mirror polish on it. I'll show it to you guys. Next video, I will show you the finished bark spud because Curtis Buchanan, the famous chair maker, made the handle for it. So uh, next video, I'll show that to you guys, but we probably won't ever use it, man. It's just too, gosh, it's, it's too nice. Way too nice. It's like my Raven Axe, my Black Raven Axe. I'll probably never, you know, never use it. Too nice. My goodness, I just looked down. There's a hundred more comments come through here. Mm. All right, I'll, I'll do the best I can. And uh, this is no uh, sales pitch or nothing. If there's something you really want to know, you can hit the super chat button and leave like a dollar or a quarter or whatever you want to leave. I don't really care. And that will kind of highlight your question and I'll see it. Cause the rest of these, it's just like nonstop here. I can't keep up with them. So if there's anything you really want to know, hit the little super chat button. If not, you may get lucky and I may see your question. You may not, just, it's just too much to keep up with. All right, let me, so let me see. Mm -hmm. I put a new video out tonight if y'all didn't see that either. See, negative 10 below. Jeez. Mm. Hello from Knott's County. That's not too far down the road. I was down there a few weeks ago. Let me see here. I need a couple new shirts. I've worn the ones out I got from you. Josh, go to farmfocus.com and I, I'm right beside the millennial farmer and, uh, all my shirts are now carried by Farm Focused. And I'm actually wearing, they sent me this the other day. This is the, uh, goodness, I can't, I'm trapped here. I can't get out. I'm st the tripod's in front of me and uh, the chair's up to the tripod. I can't show you what I'm wearing here, but they sent me this little sweater the other day. I feel like I'm at Denny's. I'm trapped. I can't get out of here. Uh, pin oak, not too bad, but it does stink. A lot of people just throw it in with red oak and it pretty much looks the same most of the time. I got really behind again. Let me see here. Uh, Mount Carmel, just down the road from here. I was actually in Mount Carmel a few hours ago. This weekend, we're not working on much at all because it is raining constantly. May do some sawing tomorrow, but too much rain to work on the barn. I did go today and get the metal for the barn. So we're ready to put metal on as soon as it quits this horrible, you know, raining and stuff. All right. There's Barry. Awesome. Thank you, Barry. Appreciate that. I like the emoji too. I'll show it to Bruno later. Bruno's upstairs with his toys or he'd be down here with us tonight. But uh, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Let me see here. How many acres y'all have? Uh, so I was curious. Uh, we have a decent amount. I don't really go into detail about stuff like that. The reason being is uh, we kind of, I, I, I know my videos show everything and all that stuff, but we, we try to stay as private as possible because uh, way too many people show up here nowadays. They find out where I live and they just kind of show up unannounced. And... Uh, it gets old after a while, so we're kinda, we kind of we kind of stay private on how much we own and you know the topography around here. 
I think Bruno's coming down the steps, old guy. I've got a treat coming here in just a minute. Bruno, I'm making a movie. You want to come look, or a video, rather. We're doing a live video. We've not done one of these since last summer, have we? Come over here. Come over here. We get a minute. Put up a gate. Well, I can't put up a gate, Chris. And uh, reason being, there's a right of way from the next farm to me and my two neighbors. So there's three farms that uh, that had the same road. So a gate's not feasible. Right? I've done that a long time ago. I do have alarms though on every corner, so I know when somebody's coming. All right, Michigan. Hey, Bruno, you get to say hello to everybody. You're, you're, you can't, you can't, see, you see him up there? Hello. Hey, hello, there's Bruno, guys. He's got this little roller thing he rides around the floor in. He has a big old time with it. Uh, TYM, I love the TYM. Great tractor. They sponsor us here at the channel. And that doesn't Dad? mean anything about what I'm saying here. I love the TYM. It's a good tractor. What's a, toy at, what's a TYM mean? TYM is the big tractor we got outside, honey. Uh, let me see. The RK55 is pretty much the TYM that I have. TYM mates the, the, the tractors for Roller King. So if you got an RK55, you're driving the same tractor I got. Unless you didn't get the hydro transmission, you might got a shuttle shift. Uh, T-shirts, farmfocus.com, farmfocus.com. Look under the brands. I'm right beside the Millennial Farmer. That's how you buy the shirts from us. Let me see here. Uh, timber frame mortiser. That is a Makita chain mortiser. It's necessary, but it's really expensive. It's about $1,800. I mentioned it's expensive. That was an expensive tool right there to buy. But once I had it, I realized you had to have it. You know. Bruno, what are you doing now? He's playing? Okay. All right. Biggest cedar you've ever sawed is a cedar that I've not sawed yet. Put it that way. I've sawed some decent cedars, but... Maybe 22, 23 inches, something like that. All right. So, toy. Yeah. yeah. I get you on that, tool or toy. All right. Uh, let me see. The new kiln, are going to build it or buy it? The new kiln is an actual chamber. We're not building this one, guys. This is an actual kiln that will come in as a building. And we pretty much just put the building together and assemble the kiln. Let me see here. What's the difference? I'm not sure what you're talking about there, but I'm lost here on comments. That doesn't surprise me at all. All right, story behind you becoming a sawyer. If you go to the home page, we did a whole video about that, about why we traded the badge. I think there's the title of the video. You can go watch that video that talks about how I got into sawmill. Let me see here. All right, there's my buddy Robert. What's going on, Robert? Good to see you there, bud. Wyoming. Build or buy a sawmill? I'd buy one. I wouldn't dare try to build one if it was me. But I'm not an engineer. You know, so. Well, there's my buddy Joe. Come here, Bruno. Look at this emoji Joe put on here. Check this out. Look here. Look. You say thanks to Joe. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> it's the best boy in the world right there, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've seen people build them, but man. Mm-mm. All right, let me see here. Have any woodworking projects going? I do not. I've not had time recently. That barn has consumed all of our time. So tonight's video is about the framing of the new kiln. No, that's actual continuation of the barn that we're building, actually. 
All right. Uh, what breakdown on your meal, old and new? I've had a fuel pump. I've had no, there's my buddy Cody. What's going on, Cody? Good seeing you there, pal. I've not had any breakdowns on the sawmill, but bear in mind, my sawmill is not a production sawmill. So uh, you really can't base my use of a sawmill based on somebody that's actually running eight hours a day. I don't run mine eight hours a day. Although you could, that thing could easily run that long. Uh, any pictures of the barn? On my Instagram, we put a few pictures over there throughout the last few months, actually. Let me see here. Uh, knots and stuff like that go straight to the burn pile. I don't have time to fool with them. North Carolina, Virginia. There's my buddy, Monty. What's going on, bud? Y'all ever go to Quiznos? I'm not sure what that has to do with this video, but I don't go to Quiznos. I'm not even sure what that is. Well, it got dark on us, and the cats go up in at nighttime. They go up in the garage and go to sleep. So uh, by the time Jeremy got done pouring that concrete pad, the cats were going to bed for the night. We got lucky. Uh, the polonia will be made into eight quarter slabs. We'll probably be going to my buddy Curtis for uh, Windsor chair seats. Down under, uh, any use for polonia? Just talked about that. It's, it's pretty soft like basswood. The old trailer sold the day I posted the video, guys. It was gone. I had about 10 people ask about that trailer, actually. Sold it to a buddy of mine out in North Carolina. I'm oh, about 480. Doctor said I have to lose weight, but I don't care to. <laughs> I don't know where the, some of these comments come from. Usually it's a bunch of political crap on here, but this is kind of funny tonight. There's my buddy James. He's one of the moderators. He can keep a lot of that crap out of here, hopefully. Old Sage will make sweet chairs. Boy, it would, but I would hate to have to work it into chairs. Yeah, I mean, I'll tell some hard wood right there. Hard stuff. Uh, no, I don't do custom sewing. Sure don't. I don't have time anymore. There's my buddy Frick up in Maryland. Go check out his channel. He runs a pretty cool sawmill up there. I like watching that thing run. Hmm. Osage and flooring. I do, it would probably be all right. But, uh, who was this Josh Bolin asking that question there? I don't recognize that name right there. This ain't about sawmills there, Josh. We're not talking about it, put it that way. Let me see here. There's my buddy Hank. Got some time to spend. <laughs> Good to see you there, Hank. Let me see here. No market here, I think no water here. Jack, a coat man, but I like Pepsi. i tell you what, that's my little Achilles heel right there. Appreciate that, buddy. There's another little Super Chats, Bruno. Another Super Chat came through, did you see this one? I don't know about this. Come here, pal, look at here, we got another one. Look at there. Gosh. You know what that will you know what that will turn into? Ice cream for you. Yeah. How you like that? Yeah. Ice cream for Bruno. Thanks guys. I appreciate those. Uh mine is sweet tea. My second one's sweet tea. I'm getting lost here. Honey locust I have not. I've not touched any honey locust. Uh, what does a sawmill cost? What metal, what model is the best of all? Uh, all right, I'm really getting behind now. Woodmiser.com has the list price of all their sawmills. You can go build them. And the best of all is whatever is best for you. 
so I can't answer that either. All right, Bruno, you got more ice cream money here. Hank bought you ice cream down in Florida. That's Hamiltonville Farm. Go check out his channel. He does a lot of cool tractor stuff down there. Indiana Diesel, more ice cream. And James, we were talking about that the other day, James. I usually go up to the feed store and just buy the little seedlings up there. I don't really start seeds here in the house. I never have, but it's not a bad idea to, but we are getting ready to uh, start the garden and stuff. So uh, that's, that's coming pretty soon. I need to get that garden plowed up and get ready for tillage. But uh, a greenhouse will be very helpful though. It saves some money. Plants get more expensive every year. All right, so uh, let me see here. Uh, how long do wood miser blades last? It depends on what you're cutting. That's been my experiences. Pine, a lot more than oak. I tell you, I wish YouTube would do something with this little live chat feed here. I can't keep up with nothing anymore. This used to be a lot simpler. And now, this these comments just, they fly through here and they come in, in little spurts and you can't even see them. Wood boiler, you're absolutely right. That would be a good way to burn scraps as well. I burn most of mine down the burn pit. Uh, what do you do for money other than being a sawyer? <laughs> Boy, some people want to know everything, don't they? Let me see here. I don't talk about money on here, guys. Sorry if I sound rude about that, but I don't talk about money, especially my own. But I get what you're probably asking. Maybe you're asking, you know, firewood, woodwork, and stuff like that. Maybe that's what you're asking. Maybe I took you wrong right there. Uh, Sawmilling is pretty much our main thing here. Hey Bruno, you let the cat in, she's clawing at the door. Let me see here. Uh, we used to, I used to build furniture and farm tables, but don't have time anymore. Just don't have time. Uh, did she come in? Yep. Good. Thank you, buddy. Give me five. Look you here. Look you here, Bruno. Look what you got. Look what Richard just bought you. Come here. Come here and look. Okay, just, just one second. You print your own money. <laughs> Chip filet waffle fries. So you gonna say to him, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh boy, that's a good one right there. Yeah, the, the subscriber, you're right, James. The subscriber count is ridiculous. When you hit 100,000, it's almost like it just takes off from that point. And we're up to 121 and it just flies. I'm getting like 10,000 a month now. It's really odd. I don't, I'm just not sure how that works really. All right. No, this is the only YouTube channel that I have. I couldn't imagine having more than one. It's all I could do just to keep up with this one. I tell you, it is extremely busy. Uh, let me see. Ever sewn up a tree of heaven? Uh, let me see. I am lost again. I'm sorry, guys. I have a hard time keeping up with this. Let me see here. Hello from another 423. Well, good deal. Good deal right there. That's a lot of people watching here tonight. This ain't too bad. We started YouTube November of 2015. Any plans for the spring? Finish the barn, hook up the molder, and start making some flooring. And install the kiln. And uh, several other projects. I got three pallets of equipment out here. I'm not even unpacked yet. I gotta get stuff going, guys. It's, it's been a rough year for us. It's been a rough year for everybody, not just me, I guess. Well, there's my buddy, Mike. What's going on there, Mike? I think a lot of Mike there. Got a lot of history with that good man. 
Looking forward to seeing the floor. And you and me both, the wife wants new floors for the house. So it looks like I'll be making floors for the rest of the year. <coughs> Excuse me. I, yeah, Corey, I talked to Corey a while back about that. And uh, I would like to get down to Corey's and do another video with him. He's got a heck of a good operation down there. Uh, no sugar maples. Let me see, goodness sakes alive. I am getting behind here. Do you consult on how to set up a meal in Cherokee County, North Carolina? No, I don't, because I just don't have time. But if you call Joe at Woodmiser, North Carolina, he'll not only sell you a Woodmiser, but he'll also help you get set up on how to get your operation going. He's a real good guy. If you want a Woodmiser, you may be looking at something else. Sassafras, don't have any, can't help you. I've only sawed one sassafras here and it's been a long time ago. Goodness, 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 Joe. We have nine cats here. They all sleep in the garage because we have coyotes. But uh, Mama Cat, who's the original cat to the family, she sleeps in the house at night with Bruno. She comes and goes. Uh, Woodmiser is backed up maybe longer than six months, maybe nine months now, I heard. If you're wanting a sawmill, it's something that ain't going to happen overnight anymore. Mike Morgan's video. I have not. I don't watch a lot of YouTube. That's, that's something else. I don't have. When you spend all this time in front of the camera and editing and all that stuff, gosh, when you're done with it, you don't even want to watch YouTube. Well, good seeing you there, Mike. And give me a call. We're going to have breakfast one day, buddy. Need to hook up there one day. I got that message from you a while back. I've just been too freaking covered up to get back with you. Uh, I, well, on adding an edger. Well, I bought an edger last June, and it's still in the crate. So uh, hopefully... You guys will see that edger sooner than later. That's something else I'm not even got hooked up yet. I got a lot of equipment here, guys, I bought in the past year. I'm not even got going. I got the molder, the edger. I bought a new grapple for the tractor the other day. Uh, got a lot of stuff I got to get hooked up, guys. Just been real busy, real busy. They've had uh, school closures for COVID back and forth. It's just been hard to get anything done. No more Osage unless... Uh, Jeremy brings one down. Uh, let me see. Do, no, I don't do this every Friday. I'm not done a live since probably last summer. And I was doing a live video tonight with a friend of mine on his channel doing a Q and A and I got done and I thought, crap, I'll come over here and get here with you guys for a few minutes. And uh, that was, gosh, how long have I been on here for? That was, 30 minutes ago. Uh, any suggestions for starting out is to, uh, on YouTube, is to keep making videos and don't stop. It's a marathon. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, you could build your own sawmill. I wouldn't want to build one, but people do that. And there's a, also the used sawmill market as well. Let me see, Sweet Gum look like? I don't know, because I don't like to saw it. Last time I saw the Sweet Gum, it turned out horrible. Goodness, this chat window here, I can't keep up with nothing. Uh, your best walnut slabs. My best walnut slabs is one particular tree that I saw almost two years ago, and the rest of them are just kind of common compared to that one. But uh, I see what you're saying, but I don't really have a system of keeping track of them either. Well, there's Gary. He's in my hometown there. Good deal. What's going on there, Gary? Let me see here. 
sweet gum stinks and twist up. But yeah, if you don't if you don't nail it up, it's a waste. Uh, I usually I drive about an hour away to get my good walnut logs, and if and if it's something I really want, I'll drive further than that. But one or two hours is about the max. The one hour is, is about the norm. Uh, the LX25, uh, there's a guy, oh, the battery's going dead, I don't know. Well, we'll keep going here until it goes dead. Uh, the LX, there's a guy across the state line of Virginia who's running one. He says it's a good meal. I've never been on one, but uh, he loves it. Clean shaven, 2016. How long's your beard now? I have no idea. Uh, any beard maintenance tips? No, I just use this beard. It's, uh, we're talking about beards now. I just use this beard shampoo and I just comb it a few times a day. Okay, great stuff. Appreciate that, John. Let me see here. Yeah, about 400 people watching now. This is getting crazy. How many hours on your sawmill? I'm not sure, to be honest with you. A couple hundred. There's mats. Metal detector, I do not. I buy most of my logs from loggers who know if there's gonna be metal in a tree when it hits the ground. They don't have a problem with hitting metal unless it's somebody who brings over a yard tree or something like that. So uh, to, to have a proper metal detector to check metal in timber, it's about $1,500. And I can't justify that one. The loggers, I, I worked with take care of me on that part. Uh, let me see here. Why do I go from a 35 to a 40? Three reasons. Diesel, 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 diesel. That's why I went from a 35 to a 40. I wanted that big diesel and the wide head. That's the main reasons right there. How do you sell your slabs? I usually sell them locally when I kill and dry a few, but I'm not sold any in a really long time. Uh, let me see here. I think I'm caught up now. I'm caught up until YouTube throws about 100 comments in here with me. Persimmon I have. I milled persimmon a few years ago for a buddy of mine. Hard as a rock, but the Osage was a lot harder. And uh, Eastern hard maple. Eric, I bought a thousand feet of hard maple just a few weeks ago. We'll be sawing it up pretty soon, actually. It's funny you would ask that. Uh, I, need, I, I need to saw it up now. It's been on the ground too long, actually. But, uh, Hard Maple is doing really good in the markets as well. It's doing really well. A lot of the, I think the law buyers say that Hard Maple prices are getting up there with White Oak right now for some reason. It's trending pretty high right now. But uh, Hard Maple is kind of hard to find in this area. I said hard twice right then, but uh, it's good stuff. It's pretty, uh, pretty plain there in the color of it, but I like it. Appreciate the question in the super chat though. Like I said, guys, if you got something you really want to ask me there, hit the old super chat button and send a dime or a dollar or whatever you want to send. I'll, I'll see those questions. The rest of these questions, I have no idea. Good point right there about Josh. You know, the hard maple could be curly. I don't see that in these logs based on the end grain, but it could be curly. How could you sell an oak in diameter? It's about five foot in diameter. Or clarify yourself there, Lloyd. Sell an oak five plus in diameter. Uh, see what he says there. Rock maple. Yeah, same thing. Bruno, more ice cream, buddy. We're gonna be eating ice cream every night for the past for the next month. It looks like Michelle. Thank you very much, Bruno. Really appreciates it. 
He'll come through here and thank you here in a minute when he makes his round. You see his foot. He's in there hanging off the bed watching watching his iPad, it looks like. Uh, the old trailer, Mac, I sold it the next day after the video posted. Uh, a lot of curly maple. I would love to get some more. I got a little bit of curly maple here. And I looked at some the other day in Virginia, but the guy wouldn't sell it. He called me over there and showed it to me, but he wouldn't sell it. I don't know what, I don't know what the deal was with that. He, he didn't even own a sawmill. And it was on the ground. I'm not sure what the deal was with that. Maple will spot faster if it's soft than hard. Because, battery's going dead. Because the harder maple, it's more dense. It takes the wood longer to get that fungus and that decay to start happening right there. So with soft maple, it's going to go faster. It's not as dense. Bye, Bruno Toothbrush. <laughs> All right, Bruno, you got ice cream, you got Chick-fil-A waffle fries, and now we got your hygiene covered. We got a toothbrush on the way. So everybody, everybody's taking care of you tonight there, pal. <laughs> Goodness. All right, so I should do these live video feeds when Bruno's a teenager and talk about going to college. We can fund his college with these super chats here. I'll have to remember that in about 10 years. Uh, let me see here. Appreciate Golf Bravo Whiskey. Appreciate that, bud. That helps support the channel here. I've not done these live videos in forever, guys. I appreciate everybody watching tonight. Let me see here. A uh, diesel, in my opinion, a diesel is always worth it because the resale value is going to be higher every time. If you ever want to sell it later on, it will sell so much faster if you got a diesel on there. People love a good diesel engine. It lasts longer and it's more torque. All right, Mountain Jam, in your experience, is rainbow coloring common with tulip poplar? It is not. Around here, I'm in Northeast Tennessee. Uh, it's about time, Killinger. In Northeast Tennessee, we do have poplar here, and sometimes it's rainbowed, and that's due to a mineral deposit in the soil where it grows. If that certain mineral deposit's there, it's gonna, it's gonna turn it rainbow every time. And there's a second cause to that, and I can't remember right now. My buddy, uh, Robert, explained that in a video a few weeks ago. But most of our poplar is just greenish, really white, nothing to really get excited about. But those, those rainbow ones are nice. And, and it raises the value $1 to $2 per board foot if it has the rainbow in it. It doesn't change the density or the characteristics of the timber at all. So uh, <coughs> a lot of people like to, you know, i got a rainbow pop where I'm going to make me a nice table out of it. Just because it's rainbow. Well, it's going to look nice, but it's going to dent, you know, very easily because poplar, even though it's a hardwood, it's extremely soft. Iron in the soil, that may be the answer right there. I'm not sure. He may be right about that. We'll have to check on that. Uh, let me see here. Hey, from Kentucky. Let me see here. You're not late there, Paul. You're catching us here at the end. I've never had that on the sawmill, Peter. Mountain ash log, I have not. I'm not sure why it would be called mountain ash. I've sawed up plenty of ash. But uh, my battery's getting low, guys. We're getting close to the end here because my battery is about to go dead on us. Sooner than later, it looks like. Where are we at here on the time? My goodness. How long have we been on here for? 40 minutes. Goodness. Uh, let me see here. Hey, from Alabama. What's going on there, Thomas? Chestnut, I've cut some uh, chestnut oak before. Uh, hello, Bill. See you later, Josh. Take care down there. Crossful, my buddy Jay. I'm sorry if I'm not getting your questions, guys. I'm behind here. Bruno. Our buddy Killinger just bought some dinner there. My, you shouldn't have done that, Chris. Look at that, fifty dollars. You should not have done that, Killinger. That's that's way too much money, guys. I'm telling you. 
Here's the shout out for Killinger. He didn't ask a question. So that's my buddy Killinger. He makes those suspenders that I wear in these videos. And hopefully, eventually, he'll offer those for sale to a lot of people because they are hard for him to make. But uh, go check out his YouTube channel, Killinger, right there. Click on his name. He just hit 6,000 subscribers uh, maybe yesterday. He doesn't update me very much at all about that, though. But uh, he a uh, good guy and a uh, heck of a leather worker. So go check out his channel. And uh, while you're over, I thank him for buying me a steak because I could use a good ribeye right now. I'll tell you what. But anyways, Creek Killinger, way too much money there, buddy. You should not have done that. That was way too generous. We appreciate it, but should not have done that, man. That's too much money. All right. So Cedar Elm, I have not. Uh, hey, from Georgia going on there man we should do these more often well I appreciate that Eric it means a lot to me you saying that I really appreciate it and thanks for being on Patreon there Eric I really appreciate that as well and uh, I made my night there buddy I appreciate it Oh, outside wood countertop. Mm. If it's going to be covered and not get rain on it, I'm thinking probably white oak. That's what's going to last outside or maybe a cedar, something like that. If it's not covered, I wouldn't do it. I'd put some kind of cover over it. Teak, uh, there you go. Now somebody's thinking, look at their teak. That's probably a better answer right there. Some kind of exotic species that I don't know anything about. Right there's Kevin. Kevin's been watching the channel for a long time. I always remember people's uh, screen names, but I remember their avatars there, and he's always uh, commented there. How's it going, Kevin? Purple Heart. Purple Heart may last. That exotic stuff, I know zero about it. I don't know anything about it how it holds up or anything like that. I did not see your video on Anchor Seal, but I will go check that out. Hello from Alaska. How's it going there, Alaska? Not so remote, Alaska. In Mississippi, Cyprus, where are we at now? I'm not, I've never saw any locusts before, so I'm not, I don't have any experience with it. Or mulberry or locust. Never saw any one of those yet. I'll get my hands on them one day, but not yet. All right. Hello from Ohio. Uh, the Patreon, you can go over to Patreon and you can give $5 a month, a dollar, whatever you want to give. And uh, you get open access to me, to, you know, I'll call you if it's a big question you need answered. And you also get to see the videos before anybody else sees them without any advertisements or nothing on them. So, uh, and I put stuff on there randomly throughout the week on what I'm doing here that doesn't make it to Instagram or anywhere else. You guys kind of get a sneak peek on everything going on. Never saw any holly. And uh, there's Karen Creek, guys. There's the concrete guy. Me and him done a Q&A video as well, people. Go check out his channel. He posted it maybe yesterday where he interviewed me up here at the sawmill. It was a kind of a little fun little uh, interview right there. Let me see here. Uh, the Patreon link is in all the videos if you want to go check that out. Epoxy works best outside. See? This community here always has the right answer when I don't, because I don't know, I know a little bit, but not a whole, whole lot, guys. Especially that exotic stuff, Norwegian wood. You talked about the four motor, what is it? I'm not sure what I talked about in that right there, Eric, to be honest with you, maybe Karen Creek will jump in here and answer that for us. <clears throat> a little bit cold here. I was out in the rain today and yesterday. Uh, 
<laughs> I just subscribed to Killinger and thanked him for buying your estate. Well, I appreciate that. And I'm sure he does too. Hello from Long Island, New York. Never been to New York before. Never been that north before. I need to get up there one day. Let me see. A COVID swab? Nah. No. Don't need one of those. Hope not, at least. You never know. It's been cold and snowy. Well, Mama Cat's in here. Somewhere, Bruno just let her in. The other eight cats are in the garage asleep. They sleep in the garage at night. Eric, I might have been referring to the molder. Sometimes my southern accent words get kind of, you know, messed up sometimes. I was probably talking about the four-sided molder. <clears throat> That's the uh, Woodmiser MP260 uh, that makes hardwood flooring. Pretty sure that's what I was referring to was the molder. All right, molder, yes, molder. So as soon as the new barn's done, the molder will be set up down there. So sooner than later, hopefully. If it stops raining very soon, we'll get the roof put on that thing. All right, guys, we're at 46 minutes and uh, and a lot more people watching than I thought we would. We may do this every Friday night here. Every Friday night, we'll jump on here and uh, talk a little bit more. Petrified wood, I have not. Hello up there in Bristol. How's it going, Scott? I was in Bristol a few weeks ago, actually. I was up at Royal King. Let me see. Oh, there's the petrified wood laps. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I can try that, Paul. It's hard to get everybody uh, on these live videos. That's the problem I had in the past was getting a good time frame when everybody was around. All right. Three inside, a couple of possums and a coon. Hmm. I saw that come through, Mike. I will do here in just a minute. Let's see. All right, there, freaking Jeep. Go check out his channel. He runs an old freight sawmill. And I'll tell you, one day I will have an old circle sawmill here. It may be in 10 years, but I'll have one one day. I love watching those things run. Watching old Mark. Delishi, I can't ever say his name right. I love watching those guys run those circle meals. I love it. Just love watching those things run. So go check out his channel. That's his comment right there, about 10 comments up. The freaking Jeep channel right there. Appreciate that, Tyler. Appreciate that a lot. Who's John? Battery's about to go dead. I'll tell you what, we'll have to stop this here in a minute. Come to Iowa and you can run one. Yeah, my buddy Tim's got one in Iowa. It's too cold out there, Tim. I ain't coming out there right now. You got all that snow. I ain't coming out there. Maybe in, the, maybe in summertime I will, though. Maybe if you had an LT50, I'd come try it out. You're right about that on Friday night. They will hold you to it. You're exactly right about that. All right, Herman, appreciate that offer. Machine work, I always wanna do machine work. All right, favorite music. I listen to about everything from bluegrass to classical to 90s throwback alternative to country. I listen to just about everything. Oh, I'm so behind now these comments. The Woodmiser 1000, probably not anytime soon. I don't think, uh, that's, 
don't think I really need something like that. I would like to have a 70 though. LT70 would be a nice saw to have. What are you doing? Changing batteries? Okay. All right, Frick. My name's not John. <laughs> My name's Nathan. Are you referring to me there, Frick, or are you talking to somebody else? All right. You should do a raffle to spend the day with you. We, Chris, the thing about that is people, I get emails all the time, people want to come here and work with you and learn some stuff. And due to insurance reasons, you just can't do that nowadays. You know, my insurance guy who insurance my whole, my equipment, my business, and all that stuff. Uh, no, I'm John. <laughs> Sorry, John, I thought you were talking to me. Uh, you're referring to yourself, but but due to insurance reasons, you can't have nobody around this heavy equipment here. It's, it's a liability. You know, if your insurance guy, you know, my insurance guy lives down the road from, if he drives by and sees somebody up here around my equipment and pulls in to say hello, you know, he could cancel your policy like that because you're up here with, you know, with people around your equipment and you're not covered. All right. All right, John, I got that figured out now. I thought you was referring to me as John. Sorry about that. Look at there, John. Everybody subscribe to your channel there, bud. Look at there. Start growing in no time. One species, that would be black walnut. The, I, I'm going to build a wall in the new timber frame showing all the axes. Right now, they're pretty much just stored in different cabinets and stuff like that. All right, guys, I'm going to end this because if I don't, my camera's going to go dead here in just a minute. It's just going to sign off instantly. Thanks, Mark, for watching. Appreciate it. So, uh, all right, I think I'm caught up here. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you guys for the super chats and uh, let me see, what's that? What's that say? That's that's ch I can't even read that language. I'm getting I'm getting questions now in different languages here. That makes no sense at all. I don't think you guys can even see it as it says hidden or something. This is this is difficult here. Well, I'll try to work on this next time. All right, guys, so uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Go check out those channels, Freaking Jeep, Killinger, all those guys, and uh, thanks for the super chats. Bruno, really, will, he'll be thanking you later on when he's eating all that ice cream. So uh, I actually have a moderator. It's James. He's in here somewhere, but it's really busy because I'll be trying to answer a comment here, and I'll look down, and there will be tiny, there will be like 10 or 20 political comments that come through at one time it's really annoying it's so annoying at all just you know and we are not talking about politics on here ever so uh anyways bruno come here a second we know if you're tell everybody bye bye they can't see you honey been down bye <laughs> all right signing off here me and bruno thanks for watching people really appreciate it Hit the off button. There we go.